LWC Local Development was one of the biggest announcements for developers at Dreamforce. With Local Development, you can get a preview of your components just by saving your code, which makes you a much more productive developer. This means that you can save from 3 to 10 seconds of waiting time per component update. And when you spend days working on LWC development, this quickly means hours saved. In addition, LWC local development works across various Salesforce containers, such as Lightning Experience, LWR Sites for Experience Cloud, and the Salesforce mobile app. My name is Alba Rivas, I am a developer advocate at Salesforce, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything about LWC local dev. Local dev is integrated into the regular Salesforce development experience that you know. It is installed as a Salesforce CLI plugin. You can enable it in sandboxes from the setup menu and on Scratchworks by activating the Enable Lightning Preview Preference setting on your Scratcher definition file. Now let's see it in action. For our demo today, we will use Coral Cloud. Coral Cloud is an app for a fictitious hotel resort chain. Guests at Coral Cloud can register for experiences that are happening in the different resorts. The experience record page contains this Lightning Web component where we can see when experiences take place. And Coral Cloud developers have been asked to make this icon stand out more in the component. First, let's see how long it takes me to iterate and get the right solution without local development. We will navigate to a date in which there are sessions. Then we will try with the brand version of Lightning button icon and deploy it. And finally, we will refresh the page and move to the date again. There it is. I like it. Now let's try with local development. Local development connects your local copy of the code to the browser via web sockets. Then any updates you make in the code are immediately reflected in the browser thanks to hot module reloading. To launch local development, you type SF Lightning Dev App in the terminal. A new browser that's connected to your local copy of the code will be opened. Let's navigate to our starting point again and pay attention to the icon because I am going to make the same code changes as before, but you will see them immediately reflected in the browser. Let's start the timer. Let's change the icon to brand. There it is. Much more efficient, right? 16 seconds versus 4 seconds. Quite a great improvement. Something important to realize is that the component refreshed, but the date we had selected did not change. This happened because the new local dev feature preserves your component's state. Now let's take a look at how local development works behind the scenes. When you start a WC local dev, a series of things happen. First, the Salesforce app is loaded on the browser or mobile emulator in a special dev preview mode that contains a hot module replacement client. Second, your local environment is provisioned with a dev server. Because the dev server is provisioned in your local environment, it can monitor your changes to the code. And third, the browser or mobile emulator and the dev server establish a two-way communications channel using a web socket. When your code changes, the dev server detects it and compiles the changed Lightning Web components. Then it pushes the compiled changes to the browser or mobile app over the WebSocket channel using hot module replacement APIs. 
This means a full reload of the page doesn't happen, and it explains why the page state is preserved. This is an important benefit of the feature, as you also save the time that it takes to refresh the whole page and click through it until you see the component in the state you need it to be. Finally, you can also use local dev in a mobile simulator or emulator and also on Experience Cloud LWR site. There it is. As a reminder, these are the commands that you need to run to launch local dev on the different experiences. In this video, you have learned about the LWC Local Development Beta, which allows you to preview your code changes in real time without having to deploy them and without having to refresh. This is a game changer for Salesforce developers as the time that you save when using it increments exponentially with the number of code changes you perform. To learn more, check the documentation and watch the Reinforce 24 videos that I leave you here. Lastly, if you have feedback or questions, you can post them on the LWC Trailblazer community group and please use the hashtag LWC Local Development. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.